String Studio VS3 has a multi-mode filter that in the signal flow comes after the output of the string modules and before the input of the body module. And we have all the standard filter types plus some formant filters which are interesting. We'll go through them. We start with low pass and this determines the frequency and everything below this value is allowed to pass through and it's filtered out above this value so we get a darker sound as we dial it down. High pass does the opposite. And this determines the steepness of the roll-off, either 24 dB per octave or when it's set to two times, it's a gentler 12 dB per octave. It's fuller. And we can boost right around the cutoff point. And high pass is the opposite, where we filter out everything below. And again, we can boost around the frequency. We have a bandpass filter, which allows everything around this center frequency to pass through, and this determines the steepness of the roll-off. We have a notch filter, which does the opposite, notches out right around this frequency, and lets everything else pass through and this controls the steepness of the notch. The formant filters get interesting. They create a vowel sound, and to the left we get darker male voices, and to the right we get higher pitched female voices, and this determines the vowels. We can go from A-E-I-O-U. type of format. Now the filter really comes to life when you modulate it. We can do it based on keyboard range or an LFO or an envelope. Let's look at the LFO. Now this is a low frequency oscillator. We can control the parameters here. And what this is is a repeating cyclical waveform. And we have different shapes that we can use. And I'm going to set this nice and slow to kind of clinically demonstrate how it works. Here's a dotted half note, and we'll look at these parameters in a moment. So it's synced to tempo now, and as I dial this in, we're going to hear either positive or negative values modulating, in this case, this frequency knob. In the opposite direction. Triangle shape is more sharper. Square. More opposite. Very dramatic with the form and filters. very dramatic cutting on and off with the square wave. We have random. I'll set it faster. Nice rhythmic type of modulation. And we have a different algorithm for another random. Glitch. Set this to formant. Get a kind of sample and hold effect. We can delay the onset with the delay knob and then have it fade in. So in this case, I'm holding half notes and if I delay the onset, we'll hear the beginning without this effect and then it'll fade up. I'll 
center this so there's no modulation here, and now we can modulate the vowels. And again, delay the onset and fade it up. Let's take a look at the envelope. Here I've got a filter happening with some envelope dialed up, and we have ADSR parameters. So I can delay, for example, the onset of the attack of the filter, the opening of the filter, giving it a kind of wah-wah effect. And then control how long it takes for the filter to go back down to the value I set here. There's a quick decay versus a slower one. And we can have the sustain based on velocity as well. And the release of the filter. How long it takes for the value to go back, in this case, to where it's set here. And we can have the attack controlled by velocity as well. Here we have velocity controlling both versus the parameters here. The body module is another form of filtering. We turn it on and we model different resonator shapes that we run the signal through and different sizes from tiny, to small, medium, large, and huge. And there's a mix knob and a decay so we can he really hear the chamber resonating or we can get a tighter sound with a quicker decay and we have separate low and high cut filtering and we have a distortion module and generally subtle amounts work nicely we have different types of distortion. With the tone control and level. But a subtle amount in conjunction with the gain staging at the output can add some nice thick saturation. Welcome to String Studio VS3.